currently, today is October the 8th, 2019. I'm currently at the Columbia River Basin Maritime Museum, and we're gonna take a little tour here and see what there is to see. We got a big buoy here, and a pretty big one here. Good solid stuff. And we got the seagull up on top too. Crossing the bar, all right. We got the old Darl here, it's, it's a hard working boat. There's a hard working guy on it. He's down here, he's got all the fish in there. All the fishing lines out here and all kind of stuff. And he's working, hooking the fish in there. And he's got all his lines and poles out there as they come around here. I don't want to fall off the steps here. We got some steps here, but uh, don't have my pole here. So I just have my hand in there. So there he is. The Maritime Museum. Okay. Boat, this is the gill netters, a different type of fishing here. These guys put the nets out and catch the fish in their gills that get caught in the nets. And there he is, he's working on it there. So. And we got a ship out there we're going to take a look at in a little bit, but okay. And here we got a little model of a tug. He's pushing a big barge here. It looks like a very modern barge, not one of the old type here. But uh, it's down here. And there it is, Tidewater Barge. This is going down on the uh, Columbia River from Lewiston, Idaho to Vancouver, Washington, which is the route that we just took on our National Geographic boat. So it's about the same thing here. So. All right. Now here's a boat here that was washed up from Japan by the tsunami that they had and it washed up here, way on the other side of the Pacific Ocean. We'll take a look at it here. And it's just a fishing boat that just washed up. It has a hole in the side. I don't know. I don't think that's from a shark bite or anything. I think it just got, got damaged in the tsunami here. But yeah, this one got washed up here. Here it is. Yeah. Came from Japan, washed up on shore here in Washington State. Here we have a towboat wheelhouse that uh, you can actually go inside here, see what it's like inside here. And we got our dials, we can go left and right here. I don't know what this other one is for, maybe speed down at the bottom there, I'm not quite sure, but left and right for steering. And we got more steering up here more steering up here. here we got a rudder angle some different things up here to turn and uh, we got a video there I guess we can go on speeds here too down at the bottom well we got two engines we got the port engine and the starboard engine left and right of course uh, something there to build this tow nothing happened navigating the river. Oh, it's showing up Today there. Today we're going to put together a five barge tow to take some Okay, we got a compass. Doesn't look like it's working. We got a couple of different rudders, all the kinds of tow, stuff to do. To to kind of little adjusters here to keep that wires. baby centered. We got our spotlights here. Three and uh, a few other things, all kind the of our gauges shows, here. So, uh, to make us, uh, one part with the right. This tower consists okay. of five barges. Oh, uh, move out of here now. Here we have a reproduction of a, uh, looks like a military boat because they got some uh, ribbons on here. Oh, the USS Knapp. Uh, anyhow. We're going to go up inside there, take a look, I think. Excuse me. Just watch your step. We can go up in here and can look inside here. Kind of dark in here, 
so there's not too much light so it's a little bit hard to see but uh, got your helm here you got the wheel here we can turn to see where we're going something up here I don't know that's it's like a light but it's like my head's gonna be right in there maybe people weren't as, as tall back then and got your uh, captain's chair here not really too much leg room in there that's for sure and uh, come back out here and we're back on the front up here and you got different things here you can send messages down I guess you can open that up full steam half an hour okay we got that going there all right some other little things up here and this is all about the uh, navy here i think so we'll go back out here and come back off here well, we have a torpedo over here to show you there's my hand there so you can see this guy is pretty big pretty big here oh this is a see what it is it's a mark 18 torpedo Mark 18, date of design, 1943. You can stop the video if you want to read that. And then over here, we have a, a naval gun like you would see on many of the old World War II uh, actual uh, movies that were on many a ship here. And uh, you see the guy standing here and have his shoulders in here. He'd, he'd be firing. And there's, uh, you really can't see through there well. And you got the magazine here loaded up. And you have another guy standing over here that would take this off and reload it very, very quickly here. And it's an anti-aircraft gun, 20 millimeter. Like I said, many of these on many U.S. ships in World War II here. So, there it is. Okay. Here we have the North Head Lighthouse Lens. I believe it's Fresno Lens. So you can see there. Come right into it. Come around this side too here. It really concentrates that light straight out here. There it is. stop the video we got the ship's wheel can't really turn it here only a little bit but uh, if we come down look at the other side somewhere here it says uh, something Maine so it's probably made in Maine in the United States here but massive super thick iron here kind of screw type it comes out here but can't tell you much else with it sorry here's all apparently all the labels from all the salmon fishing companies that have basically all the canneries have long since gone from this area but uh, all the different labels here all different kind here packing all from Astoria different brands over the years back when there were a lot of fish but pretty much fished out for the most part now and over there we got another uh, uh, lighthouse light it's going to be coming around here in a second and see how it looks here there we go pretty bright You can see it's that split light that was on there. And you can see the inside there, the mechanism for it. And I won't shine the camera directly in it. But they were coming out to one of the Coast Guard fleet rescue ships. A little noisy out here. But it's Right here. And how it would be on the seas. 
so you can see here. There's a hundred year history of life saving, leader of Cape Disappointment. Ship crews came to know the treacherous Columbia River oh. as the graveyard of the Pacific. Countless ships and sailors are disappeared. The last couple of days. Still see it there. And today, finally the turbulent press by tomorrow's heroes. Down comes one cost. Back here. the other side of the boat where they're actually doing the rescue. They can see the person in the water up there and I'm going to throw him a life preserver right over there. So these are the guys are right here. We've got these jackets here. They look like really nice jackets. I bought one for myself but I actually bought two here. One for a gift can't pass up a bargain there for sure so here's a diesel engine if you want to read that you can stop the video to read it but we're going to take a look at it. this is that diesel engine right here come over all kinds of things going on here on this diesel engine here I don't know too much about it but uh, yeah we got your I don't know, pressure or something in there. And it's up to here. We don't want to go in the danger zone. Although I live my life in the danger zone. But, and let's see the camshaft down here. They got a little plastic window in there. More things going on. I don't know if that's three cylinder, I guess. Uh, whatever. We come back here. We got the big. Big, looks like the big flywheel here. Get that thing going. Once it gets going, it'll go pretty good. And I don't know what these little things are on the top here. Something, maybe for oil or something in there. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that one's pretty big there. All right, there's the Atlas Imperial diesel engine.